wonderfully magical is in the air, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Michelle Lavon Robinson Obama. Michelle Lavon Robinson Obama, born on January 17, 1964, in Chicago, is an American attorney and author who served as the First Lady of the United States from 2009 to 2017. Married to the 44th President Barack Obama, Michelle was the first African American woman to hold the position. Raised in the South Side of Chicago, she pursued higher education at Princeton University and later graduated from Harvard Law School. Her early career was in law, where she worked at the firm Sidley Austin, where she met her future husband. She also held roles in nonprofit organizations and the University of Chicago, where she worked in student services and community relations. Michelle married Barack Obama in 1992, and the couple has two daughters. During Barack Obama's presidential campaigns in 2008 and 2012, Michelle played a prominent role, advocating for causes such as poverty awareness, education, nutrition, and physical fitness. She authored three books, including the best-selling memoir Becoming, 2018, and The Light We Carry, 2022. Michelle's roots trace back to the American South, with her paternal ancestors coming from the Gullah people of South Carolina. Her great-great-grandfather, Jim Robinson, was born into slavery and gained freedom at the end of the Civil War. On her maternal side, her great-great-great-grandmother, Melvinia Shields, was also born into slavery in South Carolina. Despite the hardships faced by her ancestors, Michelle's family rose from these humble beginnings, and she grew up in a stable, traditional household where education and family values were prioritized. Michelle attended Whitney Young High School in Chicago, where she excelled academically, graduating as salutatorian. She went on to study sociology and African-American studies at Princeton, where she experienced challenges due to her race and economic background. Despite these difficulties, she graduated cum laude in 1985, then pursued a law degree at Harvard Law School, where her confidence and determination flourished. At Harvard, she advocated for minority representation and assisted low-income tenants with legal aid. Her family life was deeply impacted by her father's battle with multiple sclerosis, which motivated her to strive for success. His death in 1991 was a significant loss, but Michelle channeled her grief into making meaningful contributions to society. It was also around this time that she met Barack Obama at Sidley Austin LLP, where she was assigned to mentor him. Their professional relationship soon blossomed into a romance, with Barack's intellect and community work making a lasting impression on Michelle. Throughout her life, Michelle has used her education and experiences to inspire others, advocating for social justice and using her platform to promote healthy living, education, and empowerment. Michelle Obama had initially planned to focus solely on her career before meeting Barack Obama, but their connection grew despite their differences. Michelle's stable family background contrasted with Barack's adventurous spirit. They married in 1992 and faced challenges like a miscarriage, eventually conceiving their daughters, Malia and Sasha, through in vitro fertilization. The family lived on Chicago's South Side, and despite Barack's rise in politics, they maintained their Chicago home, prioritizing their daughter's stability. Michelle balanced her career and family while supporting Barack's political campaigns, often making compromises like limiting travel to be present for their daughters during the 2008 campaign. Throughout her marriage, Michelle worked to balance family life and Barack's demanding political career, with both striving to keep their relationship strong through regular date nights. Michelle's professional journey began in law at the firm Sidley and Austin, where she met Barack. She later transitioned to public service, holding positions in Chicago's city government and serving as executive director for Public Allies. She also worked at the University of Chicago Hospitals, earning a high salary that contributed to the family's significant income in 2006. Michelle's involvement extended to serving on corporate boards, but she later distanced herself from some roles, including one at a Walmart supplier, as Barack's political career progressed. Michelle's role as First Lady was marked by her advocacy for military families, education, and health, most notably through her Let's Move, campaign to combat childhood obesity. She planted the first White House vegetable garden since Eleanor Roosevelt's time, promoting healthy eating and organic foods. Michelle also focused on balancing her role as a mother, 
seeking advice from former first ladies and ensuring her daughter's well-being, even as her own public image evolved. Despite being urged by some to run for political office herself, Michelle has consistently stated that she has no interest in pursuing a political career. Throughout Barack's campaigns and presidency, Michelle played a significant role in humanizing his image, sharing personal stories about their family life and appealing to key voter groups, particularly women. While some commentators criticized aspects of her public persona, such as her fashion or perceived lack of focus on women's issues, Michelle remained a widely popular figure, with approval ratings that often surpassed those of other political figures. Michelle's focus on her family, public service, and advocacy work has continued even after leaving the White House, though she has indicated a desire to reduce her professional commitments to spend more time with her husband. Her legacy as First Lady includes a blend of advocacy, personal warmth, and a commitment to the values of hard work, integrity, and respect. Michelle Obama has been a prominent figure, advocating for fairness and equality, especially regarding same-sex couples. She expressed that these values are central to her and Barack's vision for their daughters and for America. At the 2012 Democratic National Convention, she emphasized Barack's commitment to ensuring equal opportunities for all, regardless of background or identity. Throughout her time as First Lady, Michelle embarked on several domestic and international trips. She delivered a relatable and well-received commencement speech at UC Merced in 2009, attended the 50th anniversary of the March on Washington in 2013, and visited Selma in 2015 to commemorate the historic Civil Rights March. Michelle also traveled globally, promoting education and supporting international relations. Notable visits include her trips to Mexico, Africa, China, Saudi Arabia, and Cuba where she met with local leaders, encouraged young people to take control of their futures, and worked to strengthen ties between nations. In the political arena, Michelle campaigned for Democratic candidates during the 2010 and 2014 midterms. Though she was highly popular, her efforts did not always yield victories. Her advocacy continued in 2016 when she strongly supported Hillary Clinton and criticized Donald Trump's controversial remarks. Michelle has also had a significant impact on fashion and public perception. Frequently compared to Jacqueline Kennedy for her style, she was celebrated for her fashion choices, often favoring American and African designers. She became a cultural icon, appearing on magazine covers and influencing the public's view of African-American women. After her time as First Lady, Michelle continued to be active, addressing issues such as